dad is in love with my boyfriend. Ring is considered a symbol of love and eternal love. It is a perfect circle, with no starting point and no ending. Thanks to the ring, I have found the ideal lover of my life, and also thanks to it, I discovered his always hidden secret. Hello, my name is Donna. I'm 24 years old, and this is my story. It can be said that I'm a pretty lucky girl to be the only child in a rich family. My father is a director of a famous interior design company. Not only is he talented, but he's also a great father. Dad always pampered me and never let me down. But don't let that flashiness fool you. I am rich, but it doesn't mean that I'm not sad. Ever since I was very young, my mother left and never came back to visit me again. What she leaves for me is a wedding ring and a few cards every Christmas. Dad didn't say much about her either, though I tried to ask. I can tactically predict their marriage was not happy. But the strange thing is that my dad hasn't married anyone else since mom left, not even familiar with any girlfriends. You know, given his status, there are a lot of beautiful young girls who want to follow. Perhaps he still loved my mother or her marriage had depressed him, but it's not a bad thing for him to spend all his time with me. My life has been quiet until a few months ago. Something terrible happened to me, and it changed my life forever. It was the birthday of one of my best friends. To celebrate that, a few friends and I have brought each other to a familiar bar. While we were having fun, a man suddenly came to flirt with me. Not only is he rude, but he also looks quite intimidating with a messy face and tattooed arms. Immediately, I loudly asked him to stay away from me and asked the security to take him out of the shop. The guard immediately agreed. They took the man out of the bar despite trying to resist and seemed rather angry. This was not the first time I encountered this, so I quickly forgot it and continued with my party. After the party was over, my friends and I broke up. Since I was quite drunk, I did not call a taxi right away, but decided to walk a little while awake. But when I walked a bit, suddenly someone blocked my way. Nobody else. It was the man who flirted with me in the bar. He was so angry that I made him lose face, so he tried to wait for my revenge. I was terrified. At that time, I was alone. There was no one around. He began to rape me, asking me to give all of the possessions on him to him. I reluctantly do as the thug said, but when he asked for the ring from my hand, I firmly refused. It was the ring my mother had left me, and the only thing that still attached me to my mother. The angry thug rushed forward, grabbing the ring on my hand. I protested and screamed in fear. At that moment, a man appeared. He fought back the bandit and takes me out of there. After we ran to safety, he introduced his name as Samuel. Samuel kept asking me questions and wanting to take me home. His kind actions immediately fascinated me. I took the initiative to get to know him, and we dated soon after. Samuel's family is quite poor. Samuel's parents have passed away, and he has to support his sister alone. But his job is quite uncertain. I admire his energy, and I want Samuel to meet my dad so that he can arrange for Samuel to get a job at the company and also launch a boyfriend with him. The day I met, I was very worried, afraid that he would not like Samuel because of the distance between our two families. But Samuel's sincerity conquered my father and made him very pleased. He made Samuel his assistant and wanted him to accompany him to his apprenticeship. I was so delighted that my dad and boyfriend got along, but I couldn't imagine that it was the worst thing I ever made. After working with my father, my relationship with him gradually became distant. We met less often and talked less. Samuel was always busy. There were always phone calls and work messages interrupting the moment we were together. At least he explained so. Because of that, our feelings began to fade. Until one day, I stumbled across a box of wedding rings in his jacket pocket. I was extremely excited. I thought in my mind that he was preparing to plan a proposal to me. That's why he'd been so busy lately. I even blamed myself for thinking badly about him. I put the ring back in my jacket pocket and pretended I didn't know. I wanted everything to go according to his plan. But a week passed, and I have yet to receive a proposal from him. Was he embarrassed, or was he waiting for something else? I decided to go to my father and ask him for help. And when I went to see him, I saw the craziest thing of my life. My dad was wearing the ring Samuel had bought. My heart stopped beating. I frantically asked him about the ring. At that moment, Samuel entered. He seemed to sense everything was going on, so the three of us sat down together and said all the facts together. It turns out my father is gay. He hid it for a long time. My grandfather is an old man. That's why the marriage between my parents was just a blindfold. They agreed to break up right after that, and he gave my mother a lot of money to support me. As for Samuel, he's also gay. He also doesn't love me at all. He just uses his feelings for me to benefit himself. But when he met my father, he fell in love with him. They began to develop feelings while working together. Samuel tried to explain to me that he waited for the opportunity to tell me this, but I found it out before he could say anything. 
Shut up all, I shouted at the two of them and then burst into tears. Why did you treat me like that? I hate you, Dad, I said and left while crying. I came home and spent all my time thinking about this. I love my father, but I also hate him. I had no idea if he is gay, but he should have talked about it with me sooner rather than messing with the boy and girl right behind her. But he had to hide himself a lot to take care of me. It was not easy for him either. Perhaps in my heart I forgave my dad, but I need time to calm down. I still can't see him right now. Beauty is an outward gift that is rarely disliked by anyone, except for those who do not receive it. But if possible, I refuse this gift from God, because I understand that to own it, you have to pay a huge price. Hello, my name is Dory, 22 years old, and this is a story about the troubles I went through just because of having a beautiful appearance. Many people envy me and think I am a lucky girl, being born into a well-off family and possessing a beautiful appearance. But they don't know that it will never interest me. Thanks to my outstanding appearance, since the age of five, I was taken by my mother to participate in many beauty contests for children. My talent, beauty, and a bit of luck helped me win many great titles in those competitions, and also became very popular on social media. On my personal account, there are hundreds of thousands of followers. Since then, taking the beauty exam has become a career in my whole life. Instead of spending most of my time going to school like other girls my age, my mother forced me to attend photo shoots or practice to prepare for the upcoming beauty pageants. Even though I didn't like it very much, my mother told me that she did all of it just because she wanted me to have a good life. And of course, I completely trusted my mother. Also, because I had to constantly move to different locations to compete, even though I am 22 years old, I have never had a close friend. You may wonder, I participated in so many contests. Why can't I make friends with the rest of the contestants? Uh, no. You know, although we're always smiling and hugging each other, offstage in the wings, we're still rivals. Of course, not all beauty pageants are the same. It is difficult to find such a close friend that I can readily share all my secrets. Besides my mother, the person who contacts me the most is my assistant. His name is Tom, seven years older than me. Mom hired him to help me organize my schedule and protect me from outrageous fans. Tom is a very handsome and muscular man. Not only that, he is very considerate and attentive. Maybe because he and I kept in contact, we both fell in love. We have been in love for more than two years now, but both Tom and I know that we cannot make our relationship public. Because I am a famous person, all my actions are watched by everyone. But that is only part of the reason. The thing that scared me the most about my love story was my mother. She would go crazy if she found out I had a boyfriend. She always forced me to focus on my career and didn't allow me to fall in love because she thought it would distract me. And indeed, I had to suffer the wrath of my mother. That day, Tom and I were secretly dating. We had an appointment to go to a cafe with no people. I tried to dress up to avoid everyone's attention. But somehow a fan recognized me and took a photo of the moment I kissed Tom and posted it on social media. Immediately the photo went viral and it reached my mother's hands. I didn't know it until Tom and I were driving down the road when my mother stopped me. Four muscular men stepped down from the car. Without saying much, they immediately rushed to our car and attacked Tom and dragged me into their car. I was taken home. My mother was furious. She slapped me on the ear and forbade me to see Tom anymore. I argued with my mother. I said I was old enough to make my own life decisions. Tom is the man I love and I want to live with him. My mother was like a bomb that went off. She said I was ungrateful and made the condition that if I didn't obey her, she would harm Tom. I know my mother had gone the limit, but she is my mother nonetheless, and I didn't want my boyfriend in danger. I certainly agree. Then my mom fired Tom and locked me in the house so I couldn't find him. Since that day, I have completely lost contact with Tom, not having any information about him. To be sure my mother wouldn't harm Tom, I decided to take advantage of her time away to sneak into my mother's office, hoping to find some information about my lover. My mother always forbade me from entering her room. I did not question that. I just obeyed. But that day I understood why she did it. While rummaging through the files, I stumbled across my mother's diary and some old pictures of her. I let out a panic voice as I read the words my mother. Turns out in the past my mother was also a beauty contestant. She would have become a beauty queen if people didn't find out she was pregnant with me. My mother had been stripped of her crown. Because of that, she was always haunted by her old failure. When I was born, she wanted to use me to achieve her old dreams, which also explains why my mother always forced me to participate in beauty contests. Just because she wanted to receive the glory of that year, she was willing to make me an instrument. A few days later, the obsession with the throne of her beauty was evident when she caught me going to meet the chief pageant organizer to exchange views on the regulations on the upcoming contest. You know that is completely normal. I had no doubts that behind the seemingly normal meeting was a terrible plan of my mother. I was taken by my mother to the hotel, where the leader of the organizers was. The strange thing is she made me dress sexy, even though the dress was so short that I kept fixing it. The organizer was a middle-aged man. 
I didn't like him at all because he kept staring at my miniskirt, making me extremely embarrassed. After dinner was over, the man wanted me to go back to his room to continue chatting. I wanted my mother to come, but she refused and wanted me to go alone. I reluctantly followed the man. As soon as he entered the room, he began to show his real face. Turns out my mother negotiated with him to have him make love to me, and in return I would get the throne. How horrible. I couldn't have expected my mother to do that to me. She just sees me as a trade even though I'm her daughter. The man was like a hungry wolf. He lunged at me, 